Hello and welcome to the second batch of card reveals. So, uh, starting us off, we have Medusa Evil Eyed Serpent. It is a 5 drop 2 4 legendary for Bloodcraft. It does not carry the Machina trait, which is actually interesting as it probably would have benefited a bit from having it. Fanfare, summon three serpents at the end of your turn, give a bane to a random allied serpent, at the end of your turn, give a ward to a random allied serpent. That's actually not too bad. You're pretty much going to get either one of, what, two combinations? You're either going to get a single bane serpent and a single ward serpent along with one normal serpent, or you're going to get a bane ward serpent and two normal serpents out of that card. That's pretty decent, honestly. And then, of course, the evolved effect is evolve, put a Medusian into your hand. At the end of your turn, retain the same effects, of course, with Bane and Ward, so that's actually okay. And the Medusian in your hand is actually not a bad place for it to be. It's actually quite half decent for Blood to be able to run this card, as Medusian is a 7 drop, I believe, making it quite the value. And some Serpent support for Blood, not something we expected to see anytime soon, although they have been supporting older sets as we've went on. I mean, we got Blood support in, uh, yeah, Dawnbreak, Night Edge, so no surprise that we see Serpent support eventually. Then we have Stampeding Fortress, a 4-drop 4-3 four Sword Machina card. It is a Fanfare Enhanced 9, gain plus 3, plus 3, and the ability to evolve for 0 Evo points. So this is a free Evo card on 9 with a plus 3, plus 3, making it a 7-6. With the Evo, of course, you also get the plus 2, plus 2, so that's plus 5 total for each stat, which is pretty good. I mean, that's a 9-drop. And with the Evolve also, if you have at least two Machina cards in your hand, summon three Assembly Droids. I uh, can't remember if we looked at Assembly Droids or not, or whether it was going to be in this card reveal set. If we get to it, we'll get to it, but I believe Assembly Droids are just the little 1-1s. One Purging Light, a 6-drop gold card for Heavencraft. Banish Random Enemy Follower with 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 defense, respectively. Banish a random enemy follow with 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 defense, respectively. That's interesting. So, any ran it will banish a random follower as long as that random follower has 5 defense or less. That piques my interest a little bit. Hmm. Not really sure how to critique that card much more than that, and being a 6 drop probably won't be used much anyway. Uh, Jonah Ironforged Hero, a 7 drop, a 3, 5 legendary swordcraft. It is also a Machina card. It is a rush whenever an allied Machina follower is destroyed. Subtract 1 from the cost of this card. Whenever an allied Machina follower comes into play, give it a rush. So, whenever an allied mach follower is destroyed, subtract 1 is actually pretty good from this card, especially since it is in hand. So, you can potentially get it down to 0 fairly easily. Uh, whenever another allied machina follower comes into play, give it rush, so it retains the ability of something like Acceleradium, but this time it'd be usable in Sword, which is insane. Uh, and then, of course, retaining the same effect on Evo, so... Wow, just overall wow, that could be a really, really good card if Machina ends up having decent support in Sword overall. Then we have Troya Thunder of Hagelberg. It's a 3-drop 2-2 two -two gold. It is a Swordcraft Officer. Fanfare, if you have at least two other Officer cards in your hand, gain Rush. Fanfare, if you have at least two other Commander cards in your hand, gain a plus one, plus one. Evolve, deal X damage to the enemy follower. X equals the number of Commander cards in your hand. So, this one's actually fairly interesting. Assuming, at worst case scenario, when you play this card, you're getting a Rush. That's... That would be the worst case. I would preferably play this card. Of course, worst case scenario, you're playing it as a generic 3-drop 2-2, two -two, which is not good. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, because of Fanfare, I don't think it counts itself as an officer, so you definitely have to have two others. Yeah, it does say at least two other officer cards in your hand. And then, same with Commander. If you manage to get both, optimally, you're going to get, of course, the Commander and Officer effects. So you're going to gain Rush. You're going to gain plus 2 minimum, which is... Well, sorry, plus 1 minimum on both, and then you're going to deal damage on Evo. That's well, respectable. Definitely a gold card for sure. Shin Lawful Light, a 2-drop two 2-2 two -two portal craft card. It just has ward, and its Evo is put a Chaos Awakening into your hand. Chaos Awakenings is a 4-drop spell for portal craft, and it's give plus 4, plus 4 to an allied follower. If the follower is Shin Life 
lifeful, lawful, sorry, light, transform it into a Shin Chaotic Darkness. Shin Chaotic Darkness is a 10 drop 6-6. Six, six. Since it is transformed, though, from a Shin Lawful Light, it's effectively a 6 drop. And it is really a solid card. At the end of your turn, randomly perform one of the following. Destroy a random enemy follower. Deal 4 damage to the enemy leader. Restore 2 defense to your leader. Or subtract 1 from the cost of all cards in your hand. If this is your 10th turn or later, perform all instead. So, of course, since Portal right now is more focused around uh, turn 10 lethals, not control orientated, this card probably won't see a lot of play as far as turn 10 or later, but to have one of those random effects go off is actually extremely solid. You're either getting to destroy a follower, deal for him to, to your enemy leader, restore two defense or subtract one from your all the cards in your hand. Could be insane. Really would love to see this worked into a deck. Definitely not as solid as Desex Machina as far as a 6 drop goes because, as I mentioned, it's effectively a 6 drop if you're dropping it on Evo turn. And it has, of course, 6-6. Six, six but obviously it's going to lose Rush, so ideally you would want to use Shin Lawful Light, play this card on turn 6, evolve it, uh, attack for whatever you can get in without this dying, of course, so killing a 3 attack follower at best, uh, then using the Evolve card with the Chaos Awakening to turn it into a transformed Shin, which would be a 6-6, six, six, which would be really, really good. Or you could, of course, just play the Shin Evo, use this as an 8-8 eight, eight, and then beat someone's face with it, but that's eh, all up to you how you want to play that situation. Then we have Arya's Whirlwind, a 2-drop gold forestcraft card, deal X damage to all followers, excluding fairies and fairy wisps. X equals the number of other cards played this turn. So pretty straightforward, pretty generic. Dealing X damage to all followers is actually really good, especially in the early game for this. X equaling the number of other cards played this turn is okay, although it does mean that at best you're going to be playing this probably turn 3 plus. You're not going to get to play this on turn 2 and get a good advantage out of it because there are just not that many ways to get a zero cost card in your hand that early, even in Forest at the moment. So still, definitely a good card unless, of course, we can run a zero cost spell, which I think there might be one. Hmm, interesting. That could actually work with this and get a early removal. But overall, it will make an insane late game removal, so that'll be nice. Then we have a Limona Flawed Saint. Limona, I think that's the way we'll go with it, either way. It's a 4 drop 4 3 legendary for Havencraft. It is a Machina card. Fanfare, Enhanced 6, gain the ability to evolve for 0 evolution points. So playing this on turn 6 and getting the free Evo effect is awesome. You could have potentially used at least 2 of your Evos if you went 2nd or 1 of your Evos if you went 1st already. So this definitely is good to save an Evo point. Uh, the evolved effect is give your leader the following effect. Whenever an allied machine or follower is destroyed, put a Salvation X Lamona into your hand. This effect is not stackable and lasts the rest of the match. So another leader effect for Haven. Really, really good if you played this on 4, I got the Evo, set up for other cards in future as well, so that's really nice. The card that goes with this, which should be here, sorry, did they get thrown out of whack maybe? Hmm. So it did turn out I didn't save the token card, so I've sorted that now for you guys. So the token card is the Salvation, obviously X, which is a zero drop legendary spell, so basically free at that point, and since you are getting these fairly regularly from the other card, which is actually quite good, you do get the, the of course, machine trade on as well, so it combos nicely with that. As you can see, Heavenly Argus is in the background. It's subtract one from the cost of a Havencraft or Machina follower in your hand, um, which is nuts, honestly, now that I read it as or Wow, subtract one from the cost of a Havencraft or Machina, so if you're building a Havencraft, Havencraft X Machina deck, that could be insane. Uh, if you have played four other Machina X Lumas in this match, put a Heavenly Argus into your hand. So effectively for a free Argus, you've got to play 14 of these, which is not super likely. But to get a really low cost Argus, realistically, you would only have to play a handful of these. And if you've played four other in this match, put a Heavenly Argus into your hand. Also, I'm not sure if this counts every turn. That would be even more insane now I think about it. If you've played four other Salvation X Lumas in this match, Put a Heavenly Argus into your hand. So, I'm not sure if that just triggers once. I would assume it triggers once. So, once you've reached four and you hit five, you get Heavenly Argus and you don't get any more. If this constantly gives you Heavenly Argus every single time you play Salvation, this will be the absolutely most crazy card I think I've ever seen. Although, it will chunk your hand up quite bad. 
So definitely interesting. Moving on to the next card, we have Zoe Queen of Hope, another Havencraft card, a legendary, a 3 drop 3-3, three, three, whenever an effect restores defense to an ally, draw a card, evolve, restore two defense to all allies, whenever an effect restores defense to an ally, draw a card, so mainly just a good draw engine card, it's actually not too bad at all, it is of course being a legendary, not great, and being Zoe makes it interesting, Zoe Queen of Hope, we've seen other Zoe cards of course, which is interesting. But this one in particular, I'm not too keen on. It's an okay card. I think if Haven ends up needing a really good draw engine, this could be it. But at this point right now, I just think we'd probably be fine without the extra draw engine. So it's going to be a wait and see from me to give my full opinion on it, but that's how I see the card. Then we have Ivory Sword Dance, a 2-drop spell for Swordcraft. Deal 1 damage to a random enemy follower X times, maximum 10 times. X equals the attack of the strongest allied follower in play. Enhance 5, before dealing damage, give plus 2 to an allied follower. So, plus 2, plus 2 to an allied follower, boosts your X damage by 2 automatically, up to, of course, the maximum of 10. Dealing 1 damage to a random enemy follower doesn't seem that great. But, I mean, it's an okay card, it's cheap, yeah, you could use it straight out in turn 2 if you play a turn 1 card with 1 attack or something, which is okay. So, can't really say it's a bad card, just kind of meh as far as looking at it. But definitely not overall bad. Then we have a Bay Baleful Necromancer, an 8 drop, a 6 6 gold Shadowcraft follow up. Fanfare, Necromancy 12. Reanimate X, reanimate Y, and reanimate Z. X, Y, and Z equal 12 split randomly. So, this card has some pretty insane things that can happen with it. Of course, being an 8 drop, though, it is a little slow. So, unless Mid Shadow is in a more slow position in rotation, this card may not be super insane if we have a more aggro focused format. If we do end up in a more mid to control range format, which is kind of where we've been sitting for quite a while, this card could be absolutely nuts. You could potentially reanimate pretty much anything you want with this card if you've set it up right, as I'm assuming the random split at least will reanimate pretty easily. Of course, I don't know if the random split can go to zero. It does say equal 12, e uh, equal 12 split randomly, so it is possible, I guess, to go reanimate 0, reanimate 0, and reanimate 12. That is obviously going to probably be a possibility. You could also potentially then reanimate, you know, 12, 1, 1. You know, there's so many combinations of this card, I don't assume that they can't overlap. So, yeah, you could potentially reanimate something, or very little. Or there are a few cards that do allow for zero drops. You have got, of course, Anne and Anne's Attendant, which are reasonably cheap. So you'd always be generating something out of this card. I don't think you'd ever be generating nothing, but you would have to make sure you've curved out well to eight and tried to reanimate everything you can. Although anything higher will just reanimate whatever's lower. So as long as you got, say, Anne's Attendant out, you could potentially just fill the board with zero threes, I think, which would be pretty crazy, but this is the last card I believe we're looking at for this video. I hope you guys did and enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. We'll be checking out any more cards that come up on the Shadowverse Twitter account, of course. If you want to check out anything in advance from, of course, fan translations and things like that, please check the Twitter link in the description below. That will take you to Shadowverse News Network, which will, of course, have all the cards as soon as I can possibly get them up there, that's always important. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. Till next time.